Preparing headset. Preparing headset. Hello. Friend of mine and I ordered a Cena K30 Wi Fi headset, radio, cell phone. That's all kinds of things, but the big thing is it uh, you can communicate with uh, other riders in the group. For the time being, we'll be probably the only ones with the sets in the club, but I'm sure others will get them. So I thought what I'd do is, it just arrived, I'm going to uh, open the box and see what the heck's in it. Boy, this box, I don't know if you can see it or not, I guess you can. Uh, there's a lot, all kinds of tape on here, so let's, let's see what we got in the box here. I've been looking forward to this, this looks like it's going to be uh, fun. Okay. Packing slip. Always want to have that in case anything goes buggy boo with it. Take out the papers. And uh, here in my little hot hands, if I can get it out of it, it's kind of slippery, is the Senna Dual. 30K motorcycle Bluetooth communication system with mesh intercom. So let's see what's inside the box. Big thing I want to check with is what uh, the firmware update is on this because I've, I've watched probably every every um, YouTube video on the Senna 30K. And one of the things I noted was that the people that bought it early, there were some problems with it, but with the newer uh, firmware update, with the new firmware update, that it, uh, it runs even better, so. And it collects, and one uh, review I saw, the guy said that, that it, it really cures uh, any real problems with it. Um, there might be a couple little minor ones, but it's, it's not a deal breaker anymore. It was a deal breaker before, but it's not anymore. Okay, get the box off. Open it up. Nice little foam padding on the top, keeping everything safe. Here are the two communications units right here. So we have those. I think I'll set them right over here on the uh, on the pad, and then we have the two boom mics. And this is with this one here. Here's one of the boom mics, and here is the other boom mic with the uh, obviously the uh, two hearing speakers. Uh, that we'll put in later. We're going to show you how to do all this, so stick around. Now, second layer. We have a plug-in charger that you could plug in. I have a, happen to have one of these jacks in my motorcycle, so that'd be good for me. And then it has a USB unit. I'm sure to charge the uh, charge the uh, system. And then over here, we have duplicate cigarette lighter plug-in and USB plug-in. So we have both of those. We were worried about that, that they, they might have gonna send us one charger, but they didn't, they sent us two. And then in here are the usual little pads that are gonna go in there, little socks. I got, geez, I give you four of them for uh, your microphone, keep the wind noise down. And a couple of other smaller mics, but from what I did on my research, um, the general consensus seems to be that these boom mics offer the best sound. So we've taken everything out of the box. We have a center unit here. The first thing I want to check on is I want to check to make sure I have the latest center firmware update. And by doing, to be able to do that, I have to download the center software and that'll do the checking and the updating for me right here. So let's go and get the center firmware update software. So I'll open up my browser. 
open up my browser and then I'll I'll go up here and type sana.com and then we're on the Sana webpage and I'm losing my voice here. Um, <clears throat> we're on the Sana webpage. We get onto firmware. See, it says firmware updates right here. That little arrow uh, turns red when I hover over it. Just click this anywhere in here. And here you are, you're on the page to download the software. So before you download the software, there's two types of software, one for Windows and one for the Mac. And so um, I happen to have Windows. It's going to say, oh, do you have Windows 32-bit or 64-bit? I would click on 64-bit. Before I do that, there's an overview, a little overview video here. You might want to click that on just to see what's going on. And if you're using a Mac, you might want to click on the overview for the Mac right here. And that'll give you an idea approximately what's going on. So I'm going to, I have Windows 64-bit. I'll click on that over here. Send a Bluetooth device, uh, they call it. Um, I call it the firmware upgrade. But uh, there's the program. I have to click on that. It'll install itself. You, you know, you just, you've done this before, and you just click on yes, 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 and the software installs. I've already installed my software, so no need to do it again, so I'm going to get out of here. And it leaves an icon up on your home screen, and um, it says center, and that's the one you want to double-click. And sure enough, here comes the um, firmware update program, and it shows a few of the devices that Senna has for sale. You click Next. It says power off your product. How you, the way you know that the product is uh, the way you know the product is powered off is up here in the corner. There's a little window, a little triangular window, and if there's any light in that window, it's on. See, if I turn this on, see the light in the window? I'll wait till it powers up. When it powers up, uh, it'll blink some lights. It's one, two, three, four. See those red lights that blink? The amount of red light you get when that blinks, when it's powering on, will tell you how fresh your battery is or how much power you have left. Mine is fully charged right now. So now I take the two buttons and push it again, the two buttons together, and I'll turn it off, and you'll see... Now we're off. So they don't want this powered on. Next thing they tell you to do is to take the unit. You have a USB cable, and the other end of the USB cable plugs into the center. And what they plug this into your computer, and then plug this in to the center unit. Be careful. You don't have to grill this thing in. Uh, it has to be just at the right angle, and it goes in, and then just get, you'll hear it click in. Can you see that little red light right there? That little red light tells you that you, are ch that you use this to charge the center unit. This tells you that the unit is, is charging. Okay, And when this light here turns blue, it tells you it's fully charged. So that's pretty good. And it's also a way in which your, this software that you just installed, it's also a way in which the software is going to be able to talk to your center unit and do the firmware upgrade. All right, so now we've done everything they want us to do. And my phone's being stupid. Uh, we've done everything they wanted to do. And so we're going to move over to this next page. And it's normally what it would do is say is firmware update. And here would be version 1.0.2 was a. Uh, the latest version, they would have it up here, and then down here, I think it would show 1.0.1 or vice versa. But anyway, it'll show 1.0.1 or 1.0.2. If you're all upgraded, which I am, the latest version is 1.0.2, and I already have it. So firmware to update, there's nothing in there. So we're, we're good. So, But you would click Next, and it would go through uh, some, you know, the usual thing, and it would upgrade the firmware. Now, the other thing, the other screen that you get, is you can modify, enable, or disable many of the options that are on the center unit. But I'm not changing any options till I get used to the unit, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it alone. So ready for device settings, we're all done. I would basically what I do is just uh, click out of here, 
Now, there's only one final thing you have to do. And after you've downloaded the software and you're all ready to go, you're ready to jump on your motorcycle and go for a ride, uh, the next thing you have to do is you have to do what they call a factory reset. In a factory reset, you're going to hold this button down for 10 seconds. Make sh First of all, you have to turn the, the uh, headset on. Uh, and you see the blue light come out, and you'll see the red lights, as I've spoken about before, you'll know that your battery's just about fully charged. You get four red lights that's just about fully charged. One, two, three, four. So we're great on battery life. Probably another 10 hours, 12 hours. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, in order to do a factory reset, you have to hold in what they call a phone button, this button right here, for 10 seconds. And then you'll get a solid red light up here and then you push this button once and that'll do the factory reset so let's try that you ready 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 1006 1007 1008 1009 10 there's a solid red light push this button once that'll go out in a second factory reset done we've got the factory reset We've done the firmware upgrade, and now we just have to put the um, connect our phone with the center device. And this little phone button that I mentioned earlier is supposed to hold that down for five seconds. Let me turn it on first. Okay, it's turning on. You see the blue light comes on. Then you'll see the battery setting lights flash. Should be four red lights. One, two, three, four. There we go. Seems to be working fine. And when I want to uh, hook this up to my, or pair it with my phone, or MP3 player, or my GPS, or anything like that, I just hold this down for five seconds. And I should see... Um, alternating blue and red flashing lights. That indicates uh, that the device is now discoverable, so that's good. So let me hold this down for five seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. Okay, so that's telling me it's discoverable. Now I can go back to my phone and let's see if we can discover it. I'll go to my Bluetooth settings, and uh, check it out here. There's my Center 30K connecting. We're connected, so we're all set. Very simple. Back in business. Now let's put some, put the headset together and uh, in the helmet, and then we'll. We'll do a little writing, get you some video on that later on. I think we're just going to end the video with uh, this part, and then the next video we'll put doing the headsets in and doing the writing, so we'll do it that way. Goodbye.